Okay, this is the Sandwich 200 version 2 with the long frame put back in between these two pieces. Excuse me. What you? Woo! And uh, I've put in an alternative interlock between the box frame and the um, Core XY top. If you recall previously, um, this is a slot in mechanism, so the top sits on this rail sits on that one that's part of the top core XY this is part of the box frame half same on the other side so that sits on the top and then slides this way backwards there and those you can see the clear interlock on there and that's and this one and there is a for the camera to do its light thing there is a wing nut on the end of that and under this bolt just here um, the redesign of this these parts sorry they're in the same color otherwise it would be a bit clearer um, this piece previously was on this bar here which prevented the when the box was turned the other way up prevented uh, was it this bar here from being able to fit flush against this bar at the top so by lowering it down that bar instead this one when the box is turned upside down and put in um, will fit over the top of that and this piece um, has a, an interlock into this one here and also an interlock onto this bar from the uh, from there as well so it is absolutely rock solid which is fantastic the previous design wasn't I was a little bit concerned about the fact that that's uh, uh, this piece is 18 millimeters deep but actually it turns out to be all right um, you can see here there is a small gap which turns out to be perfect for making sure that this piece uh, interlocks on this one in a way which allows no movement this one however is not and you can see there is a small amount of movement there I will sort that out um, but that is literally the only movement in the entire frame when you grab it by the horns uh, take the top and twist the top try and twist the top off which is fantastic um, that's rock solid that's rock solid I can hear a small amount of creaking from these basically um, these here clamp this these two bars together um, talking to Cosmic Ray <laughs> on the uh, rep rap forums he suggested some strong metal hinges plastic won't do it um, because it will bend um, but what I've done here as you can see I've used these as a clamp now that clamp is acting that way but it is not acting this way um, which the result of that is that uh, uh, when you put an extreme amount of force on this is twisting effect these two bars shear like this now what I've thought of doing um, for that is to create a uh, clamp piece which goes clunk on there and slides in so that it fits underneath on these I'll just cut out the hardboard from those pieces and that will fit on onto these one two three four bar four pieces and keep that from uh, being able to move about um, there um, should actually just be able to get away with it just a push fit uh, shouldn't have to do a thing and actually that would be good because you'd be able to push it in push fit into these interlock pieces uh, on these bars here we'll keep that um, keep that solid yeah oh dear me loads of fun um, right, but yeah um, so finally I have something that I'm actually happy with um, the flex drive is coming um, the E3 DV6 hot end has arrived so I won't have to dismantle that one which is the version 1 uh, which is good because the Bowden tube can stay on there I don't like them <laughs> um, flex drive dive is absolutely awesome um, it's an automotive grade flexible drive shaft 750 uh, millimeters long is the standard length that um, uh, 
uh, Jason from Muttley 3D does. And what we're going to do is mount the extruder motor here sideways and the flex 3 dive will come up and round and go down to there. We'll sort out a shorter one later but the lead time on um, on uh, non-standard sizes is like two to three weeks so he's got a whole stack of 750mm ones in. Just order that fine, no problem, get that. But what that means is oh, there's a 40 to 1 drive rate, gear worm drive in the flex 3 drive parts which is great because then you can um, run the motor at quarter micro stepping not the usual 1 16th which loses an enormous amount of holding torque and you then have to run the motors extremely hot because the gear ratio is typically only sort of like 7 to 1 5 to 1 this is a 40 to 1 gear ratio in the flex drive which means you can go to quarter micro stepping um, and substitute rpm um, uh, instead of um, low end torque which means the motor stays cool even though it's running fast which is great so, um, that's all good, man. Uh, that's great, it's getting there. Corex wires in, motors are a little bit stiff, uh, but I think I feel that's down to the motors. Really must get the 0.9 degree uh, motors uh, next time, but we'll do that later. All right, cool, thank you very much.